Right everyone, well collector here. I thought I'd do a video testing out that camera I bought recently, the um the SW20 flashlight camera. Uh, and test out one of my torches and I was also a bit bored. Uh yeah, and it was about um this video's about half two in the morning. I just thought I'd go for a walk. It was a bit hot. Um, I think it was about 26 degrees in my bedroom, and I just couldn't stand it. I hadn't done anything all day, so I decided to go for a walk. And what I did, I sellotaped, well, not sellotaped, I duct taped the um, two of my pen lights to that um, flashlight camera. It's not a flashlight, it's just it's a camera shaped like a flashlight. Uh, and I just went for a walk. Um, and as you can see, I think that that uh, what you're seeing now that is the um, that's the Frunite torch. That is the uh, Frunite TI4 pen light. On I think this was medium. Later on, I put it on full, and you can see it even better. Um, yeah, so you know I've used some cameras at night and and torches, and you literally can't see anything, but. I think you can see all right on there, you know, you can see what I'm doing. The only thing is where I taped the camera and the torches together, the thing with that round uh, camera, you don't know whether you're holding it upright or not. You can only tell by the buttons. So it's slightly tilted. If I ever do it again, I'll make sure I don't do that. Uh, yeah, like I said, as you can see, it's quite good. What I'm also going to do with this video, I'll probably do a bit of an update. So, um, future videos, as I think. So, definitely going to do that, um, new escape and evasion type real life zombie kit sort of thing, apocalypse kit. Uh, you know, if you watch it, you don't have to take it too seriously. It's just, you can if you want to, you know, it's something that could be practical, but at the same time, People like watching them zombie videos, so they're good to put on just for the views, really. Um, so that. Um, what else? Uh, probably going to be making a new pry bar soon. Uh, when I say new, it'll be my standard design, but I'm just going to show myself making it. Um, what else? Hard to think on the spot. Just coming up to a bit here where lamp, the yeah, lights was on. Uh, you know, that camera shows up quite good at night, don't it? Let me think what other videos. There'll be book reviews. That's weird. I've got lists and lists and lists of uh, videos now. As soon as I have to try and say them, I can't think of anything. Crossbow tests. Crossbow mods. I've uh, got a couple of videos coming, uh, not videos, got a couple of knives coming soon. They've been ages though, the only thing, I reckon they've been stopped by customs. So I'm pretty much, when you get a lot of things from Gearbest, they get stopped by customs on the way. Because it's a knife, and they just assume, well I don't know, I don't know what they assume, but I, I assume that they assume, because it's knives from China, that it's going to be shit like flick knives and that. So, they check them all. Which don't really bother me, you know, as long as you get the stuff, it don't matter, does it? So, should be getting them. Don't know if you lot know this about Gearbest and that. Um, Gearbest and Frunite and that. I don't actually buy any of the stuff that I um, review. Uh, well, some of it will be stuff I bought, but the majority of stuff I get, because I can't do ads and that, I will accept free stuff to do reviews on from company. Yeah, you know, lots of people do it. I just thought I'd say in case some people didn't know that. Um you know, I still do fair reviews and that. Because well, because what I tend to do is I tend to ask for things I actually want. Rather than get sent a load of rubbish that you don't actually want, I will actually say to them, Can I have this, can I have that, you know? And that way you get the stuff you want. <clears throat> you do honest reviews on them and that and you know and they get free advertising, so yeah, two should be getting two knives from a company soon. Uh, Gearbest, actually, saying that, I think there's two from Gearbest, 
should be getting two things from that lightech.com and there's a through night torch coming soon um which is all good yeah it helps me because i'm not working so i can uh you know i can still get things for videos when I, you know so yeah just about to go up an alleyway now keep watching you might see a ghost <laughs> um yeah, it's about half two in the morning. I'd, I'd go for late night walks quite often. Cooler air, you don't see no one. You know, where I live, you're not going to see anyone. And if you do, you kind of probably know them anyway. Yeah, this is up near some garages. <clears throat> Trying to think what other videos are coming. Probably won't show all this video now because this original video is like 15 minutes long and it's five minutes in and I'm running out of things to talk about already. Uh, what other videos? It's really weird when you try and think, and then I've just gone completely brain dead. But plenty of stuff. Some reviews, crossbow stuff. Uh, I've, got, I've got loads and loads of ideas. Right, as, as I'm running out of things to say, I might as well leave it there. So, as you can see though, that torch and that that camera's quite good in it I've, i'm quite happy with that uh that flashlight style camera i'm only going to probably use it for action cam stuff or stuff like this video because uh they're not really suited for uh talking down the camera because of the weird wide angles you know you want a normal camera for that yeah and that torch seems that that through night torch on full on full uh, beams, good. You can see proper, decent really. So yeah, if you've listened to all this, uh, most of it's load of bollocks, but yeah. Uh, don't forget to visit my blog, link will be below. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, yeah, that's about it. See you later.